In the last video, you were introduced to creating embedded web experiences with tabs for Microsoft Teams. Now we're going to look at how to create custom Microsoft Teams personal tabs. Now this section addresses the process of creating custom tabs for Microsoft Teams. Now let's look at what's involved in building a Microsoft Teams tab. Microsoft design guidelines for creating custom tabs include the following points. Tabs work best when they are built to address a specific need. You should focus on a, false, a small set of tasks or a subset of data that's relevant to a channel that the tab is in. You can also avoid creating multiple panels in a tab, adding layers of navigation, or requiring users to scroll both vertically and horizontally in one tab. In other words, try not to have tabs inside your tab. You should also find ways to notify users about tab activity. For example, post a message card to a conversation about tab activity. And you should also find a way to implement conversation around a tab to ensure that conversations center on content, data, or processes at hand. Make sure that you grant access to the right people at the right time. Keep your sign-in process simple to avoid barriers to contribution and collaboration. And then after you've designed the tab, the next step is to develop it. Tabs are web apps that are hosted in an iframe within my, the Microsoft Teams client. You're free to use any web technologies and frameworks that you're most comfortable with to implement the custom tab experience, such as HTML, JavaScript, TypeScript, web frameworks such as React or Angular, and even any server-side technology. And the last step is then to deploy your tab. Unlike other Microsoft Teams extensibility options, such as bots and message extensions, you can upload custom tabs directly to a team. Microsoft Teams apps can also be uploaded to your tenant's app gallery for other users to install on their terms and their teams. When can you create a Microsoft Teams tab? Well, let's keep in mind the following points. A Microsoft Teams tab is a web page that is hosted by a tab provider or the developer. No data related to the page is stored in Microsoft Teams. The developer of the tab is responsible for all aspects of the tab which includes data storage, configuration settings, and authentication. Microsoft Teams saves only minimal configuration details in the tab, such as the URLs for the content and the website of the tab and the name and IDs of the tab as well. When you build your tab, you might want to implement the user experience more like an application and less like a web page. Many websites implement the traditional page-to-page -page and postback style of submitting and presenting information, but the users of your tabs interact with your application from the Microsoft Teams client. And they may want, uh, they may use uh, a desktop, a mobile, or a web experience, but all of these enable a rich client experience. So by using web frameworks such as React, Angular, and Vue.js, you can implement a rich client experience without continuously reloading the page. Microsoft provides you with multiple tools to create custom Microsoft Teams apps, which includes custom tabs. With App Studio, you can create or integrate your own Microsoft Teams apps, whether you develop custom apps for your enterprise or SaaS applications for Teams around the world by streaming and streamlining the creation of the manifest and package for your app and providing useful tools like the card editor and a React control library. App Studio is a Teams app that's available in the Teams store. App Studio helps developers preview the rendering of cards and visually edit the manifest file for a Teams app. Now you have two options to create the project and resources necessary to implement Microsoft Teams tabs, either using Node.js or .NET. To create a Node.js based project, use the Microsoft Teams Yeoman generator. After you answer multiple questions related to the project that you want to create, the generator is going to create the scaffolding for your project. Now this option requires Git, Node.js, NPM, and a text editor such as Visual Studio Code. To create a .NET based project, use tooling provided in Visual Studio. Similar to a Node.js option, after you select the project type and answer multiple questions, Visual Studio generates the scaffolding for your project. And this requires only Git and Visual Studio. Your Microsoft Teams tab might require contextual information to display relevant content, or it might need basic information about the user, team, or company. The tab might also need the, loc the locale and the theme information, or it might need to read the entity ID and sub entity ID to identify what's in this tab for additional context. Microsoft Teams offers two ways to obtain context on the current user or from within Microsoft Teams. When Microsoft Teams loads the content 
uh, page for a tab, it can include a placeholder uh, value on the URL that the web application can use to obtain context. And after the web app is loaded in Microsoft Teams, it can use the Microsoft Teams JavaScript SDK to fetch that information. Now you can use placeholders in your configuration or content URLs. Microsoft Teams replaces placeholders with relevant values when it determines the actual configuration or content URL to go to. The available placeholders include all the fields uh, on the Microsoft Teams context object that are available within the JavaScript SDK. Some of the values avail are available as URL pl uh, placeholders. They're set when the tab is configured. Other values are set with a deep within a deep link of the tab when, the, when that is generated. Deep links are also used to implement tab-to-tab -tab communication. You can also retrieve information listed uh, previously by using the Microsoft Teams JavaScript client SDK by calling microsoftteams.getContext and then passing in a callback that's gonna receive the actual context once it's been fetched. And you can see a table here that contains a list of all the different properties uh, that are worth noting. Now you can create two different types of tabs for Microsoft Teams. One type of tab is a personal tab, and this type of tab was previously known as a static tab. Users can use personal tabs to interact with your experience privately. The content of a personal tab is only relevant to individual users. A personal tab is defined within the statics tab collection of the Microsoft Teams app manifest. These are a set of tabs that can be pinned by default without the user adding them manually. Personal tabs declared in a personal scope are always pinned to the app's personal experience. You can see a bunch of the different properties here on the code on the, on the right. The entity ID property is a unique identifier for the entity that the tab displays, which is required. The name property is the display name of the tab and the channel interface. It's also required. The content URL property is the HTTPS URL that points to the entity URL that's going to be displayed in the Microsoft Teams Canvas. This property is also required. The website URL property is an HTTPS URL that is used if the user opts to view a tab in the browser. This is not required. And the scopes property is an array of scopes that are supported. And this property is required and supports only the personal scope for a personal uh, tab. If your Microsoft Teams tab loads or redirects to other URLs, those URLs must be listed in the valid domains collection. 